Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We should beat Greed Mode with someone else. Let's beat Greed with Samson, who we have not played as yet. Yes, I am ready. Greed, Samson, let's do this. I had to do like a quadruple check in my brain there to see if we, uh, if I was handling that properly. But I do think that is the right outcome for us here. Ooh, okay. This is a great start already. Because all we need now is like IV bag. And we don't even necessarily, there's chaos in here already. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, Yara rune, okay. We have to use the Yara rune. If you use the Yara rune here, do you get all the items for free? I, this is a time I should have checked into that. Okay, but for now, here's what I'm thinking. At the very least, we could pick up no money, fight all of the bosses, and then double the money we get right here, and then have enough to be in a pretty good spot. What I was talking about with uh, IV Bag, in case you were curious, is basically that with IV Bag uh, and Old Bandage and a decent enough luck stat and some HP on the ground, um, we can pretty much have unlimited HP, which is something that I think would probably be pretty good. Uh, and unlimited money as well, which would be awesome uh, for greed mode. So we'll see if we can somehow finagle that. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be possible, but if it is possible, I would like to be a part of it. I, as far as uh, Samson Azazel, rather than, than bore you with a little bit of commentary about, you know, what what I think he's going to be like from a balanced perspective, why don't we just find out for ourselves, right? Like, um, I, I don't think it's necessary for me to go off on my hunches yet, but I would think that maybe Samson would have a pretty good chance of being uh, slightly above average, based on the fact that you get a damage bonus per floor. I had a feeling we were going to take damage on this room at some point, but I didn't think it would necessarily be right then. Okay, this is fine. The problem with this run right now is that I literally cannot pick up any pennies if I want to get maximum utility out of the Yara rune. So I'm like trying to leave roughly half of the floor that I just don't touch. This is our last wave here though. Man, I, I would really like Old Bandage to have dropped a red heart. We could just double it right now, but I don't think that's in our best interest. I think it's in our best interest to fight the bosses and then uh, and then double it. Hopefully we won't die. Holy Christ, bad start. Nose is so itchy. There we go, okay, here we go. Step on the button. We can fight a single Monstro in 35 seconds with a damage bonus from Bloody Lust. That's not even a contest. And after these two boss fights, we can pick up the money or double it and then pick it up, I guess. Because we don't need to, um, we don't need to worry about the, the deal with the devil fight because that doesn't give us any coins. That's a non-issue. Alright, so we got like triple Larry Jr. if we're going to oversimplify it here. And we've got as much time as we could possibly need in, in the world. So, uh, just keep ourselves honest here. Watch out for the, the charger. And then we'll get ready to Yara rune the, the crap out of this room. It, we could Yara rune the, the shop and maybe get the items for free. But I actually don't know if that does it for us. So I'm going to be a little bit of a little bitch. And I'm just going to double our money right away. And this might not be the way that we should handle it. But it's the way I'm going to handle it. I also stepped on the button accidentally. There was a coin near it. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. Um, not a huge mistake, but uh, an annoying mistake. Let's put it that way. Let's not not die, maybe, would be like the ideal situation if we could find ourselves not dying uh, right now. Then we could go into our deal with the devil, which we'll have to go into our deal with the devil uh, after this. Uh, otherwise, we'll lose that deal with the devil forever, and we obviously want to at least have the chance to get precedent. We're going to have 50 cents on the first floor. Five of that, maybe 10, is going to go towards keys. 15 is going to go, oh god. 15 is going to go towards chaos. I don't know about the rest. Is this guy still trucking along up here? We'll see. I mean, we could save money for the next floor. That's the thing about shops, you know? They're still going to be good for us. Please don't make me fight Krampus. Okay, we got two runes. Oh, it's another Yara rune! And an Ansu's rune. So the Ansu's rune is literally worthless. Do you want to try to just Yara the items on the shop and see if we get them for free? By the way, I don't think I showed off our seed here. There it is. 1-2-Z-Q-W-T-3-Q. This might not work, but I'm going to try it. We yarrow at our shop. We got a key and some red... We got two keys and some red hearts for free. So it was still worth, like, maybe 18 cents. It's probably not exactly what we wanted, but that's okay. 
So I am going to buy Chaos. And then I am going to buy Skinny Odd Mushroom. Then, we're going to try to reroll these items and get something better. Are these better? I don't think so. So we're going to try another one. And another one. And is that Glitch Baby? That's Glitch Baby! GB Bug. Game breaking bug right away. Uh, I don't actually know what this does. So, you know, that's okay. But I figured we'd take it because I don't know what it does. We get Blood Clot. Blood Clot is okay. We'll head down to the next floor. I think this was a pretty good first floor for us. We got some HP. We got some Yara Rune. We got some consumables. Um, our damage is going to suck here for a second. Fire Mine is also, of course, dangerous. What is this? Cambian Conception. Feed them hate. Maybe the more damage we take, the better we do. Oh, without a doubt, we gotta take the wafer. So as soon as we get enough money for the wafer, we are all in on that. I guess we won't pick up the money in case we get another Yara rune. I don't think it's necessarily like predisposed to drop any more often now, but why why risk it, right? Fire mind is causing the exploding shots, not KMB in conception. I actually don't know what that item does exactly yet. Keep ourselves back as far as we can. We're still a little... Oh, what? That's bad damage on my part, but... We're still a little weaker than I'd like to be, but, but life goes on. I think we hit him enough to kill him. Fire will take care of it. Still trying to leave money on the ground if possible. We got a pill. Range down. Relatively meaningless. Of course, if possible, I would prefer it to be range up just in case, but uh, I'll take it. What does Game Breaking Bug do? I have no idea. Maybe it maybe it's the secret to the 109 mystery that the Binding of Isaac subreddit is going ape shit about right now. I doubt it, but it's possible. Okay, stay, stay back. Stay back. We should be okay here. Oh! Try not to take any more hits if it's at all possible. Okay, we've done all the waves here. Uh, I do want to check out the uh well, now that I think about it, do we even want the wafer? Because I was like so dead set on it, but now I'm like, doesn't this just literally give us exactly what we already have? Like nothing's gonna hit us for more than a heart, or more than half a heart, right? Maybe we should just go straight into the toothpicks, man. Let's hit the button. That's fine. Consumables, consumables please. I really thought maybe we could blow up those uh, statues as well. Wishful thinking, maybe. Um. Yeah, I don't know why I was so dead set on the wafer. I think it's just because, again, there's like different value propositions for uh, regular Isaac and greed Isaac. And I was like, you know, regular Isaac, this is a no-brainer. You take the wafer 10 times out of 10 because it's an A-plus item. Uh, what, what in the world hit me? Was there a shot that I just lost track of? Because I'm a little confused. Not extremely bent out of shape because we should still live here, but I'm like... I don't know what exploded there to hit me. But, oh, old bandage actually paid out with a, a red heart there. So we're actually, like, staved off from oblivion. I so oftentimes find myself being like, yep, definitely going to die on greed mode. And then I just don't. And I'm I'm very surprised. Uh, I guess we'll fight our next wave. And this should be relatively easy. Somehow we charmed that enemy. Was that, like, the glitch baby? I'm going to assume the answer to that question is yes. Two more hits. Three more hits. Okay. See what our deal with the devil is. Could be a deal with the angel. We got no bombs, so I think we're kind of screwed. But I got to admit, Guppy's head is probably pretty dope from a... Uh... Let's try this. Guppy's head is probably pretty dope from a... Uh... A greed mode standpoint, right? Ah, let's buy the key and get out of here. I'm tempted to bomb this stuff, but I think we're better off. We'll be able to get three flies per room. That seems pretty solid. Let's try not to hurt ourselves as much. Let's be honest, we're just killing time until we eventually get the D100 and reroll the whole run anyway. All right, so we bought the key to do this. Not worth five cents probably, but it, it could literally be worth it, five cents depending on what we can blow up with it. I mean, kind of, you know, going by the seat of our pants here. We could use this fairly frequently, but we also may not want to. So one bomb there could do that, or we could blow up our uh, blood bank. I feel like we're just going to do that once. 
I think we'll put a bomb down, like Mr. Boom Bomb down here. Mr. Boom Bomb. We got money, which is great. I'm gonna use three cents of that to buy this. And we're just gonna gamble a little bit. Just a little bit. We wanna get that damage bonus as soon as possible. Um, goat head is not worth anything. You know what, I'll tell you what, three cents. IV bag could be very good here. It's paying out like exactly how much we want it to. Give you a little, little three cents. Uh huh. Oh, that's what we're looking for right there. That completely disrupts the value chain, it allows us to gamble more often. Free money. I'm comfortable going down to one and a half, even though it scares the shit out of me. I'm comfortable with it. Sometimes you're comfortable getting the shit scared out of you. It happens, man. That time we only got two cents. It's completely disrupted the value proposition again. I hate to do this, but we really need to, if only for the HP. If we get IV bag, then that's a different story as well, but I don't think we want to take IV bag yet, but we'll use Guppy's Paw on the rest of this floor and then see what kind of goodness we can get out of IV bag, especially if we can get like a bloody penny somewhere. I, I'm, I feel like I'm still probably at the point where I'm making people angry with my greed mode item uh, suggestions. Like IV bag, is supposedly super overpowered in green mode. Uh, I don't understand fully why. And maybe that's uh, me being a little slow, honestly. But I, I know IV Bag is powerful as Samson. If we can just get like one more bomb synergy to make it incredible. You know what we could do is use it, um, use IV Bag, keep buying red hearts, and try to get a trinket that gives us bonuses. Like, for example, if we come into our. Uh, our uh, shop here. Get IV bag. Which is not in our shop. <laughs> get IV bag from here. And then just basically keep buying trinkets until we get what we want. We don't want mom's eye. We don't want tapeworm. We don't want mysterious chocolate. Mysterious candy. We don't want uh, the broken magnet. Buy this. And then we're, we're hoping for, well first off the luck up is fine. We don't want a uh, purple heart. We don't want callus either, but um, ooh, two extra cents. We uh, we'll just keep doing this until we get something worthwhile, namely Bloody Penny, and then we're off to the races, right? If we get Bloody Penny, and of course, the more lucky pennies we get, the better our uh, the better IV bag plus uh, old bandages for us, right? So I think we're, we're getting close to that unlimited HP mark that people talk about as being like awesome for greed mode. We're not quite exactly there yet, but we're not too far off. We probably don't even need to spend five cents per item, five cents per trinket. But again, it ends up being pretty cheap if we can just IV bag ourselves, not unlimited, but like a lot of money as well. We need like one more cent to start swinging it, which we, we have here. We should probably get the unlimited money before we get the trinkets though, otherwise it fucks up the distribution. Okay, so we did finish that. Let's check our uh, deal with the devil. No, we haven't done that yet. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, buy this. Where is my old bandage uh, action here? We're losing one cent per... Per setup, what in the world is that? That's KMB in Conception? The more hurt you get, you get familiars or something. Okay, that time we got four cents out of it. But we're, oh, that's what we're looking for, that's pretty sweet. Do we want any of these? I don't necessarily think so. There, now we're starting, oh, what, Demon Baby? Or Dark Bum, where did Dark Bum come from? Get out of here, dark bum! I'm very confused. I want those red hearts, you don't get to take them. We're getting like unlimited cash now. I don't know why we got so lucky there temporarily, but I'm loving it. I almost hurt myself more than I should have there. Don't take my hearts. There we go, okay. Well, we, maybe we should start buying trinkets. Let's just see if we can reroll them instead of buying them. Uh, I don't think so. I think instead we have actually turned our trinket thing into a card thing, which I don't like. Steam sale. Steam sale seems uh, really good. Let's get that. Um, 
Let's get HP. Let's get Sad Bombs. I think those are really cool. I think we'll get Sworn Protector as well. I don't want Cursed Eye. Um, I do want Synth Oil. Now we got two Sad Hearts. That actually makes a big difference. Because now we can, like, pretty much forever uh, just make unlimited money, right? Now that we've gotten the Steam Sale, we don't even need the old bandage support necessarily. So we can just get absurdly overpowered here. We don't really want any of these. Uh, we, we could take HP for 7 cents. I mean, why not, right? And we'll take HP for 7 cents again. Then that actually paid for itself already. Um, we're looking for like... Yeah, red heart payouts are good. More than 1 cent per play is also good. Now we'll take Contract from Below, which is going to be great for us as well. And we'll pick up all this and take meat. Realizing pretty quickly uh, why IV Bag is so powerful. But it did require a little bit of extra legwork to make it happen. Do we want Guppy's Tail? I don't really want to have to spend more keys, so... Uh, we probably could make do with Black Lotus. Why not, right? What about, I don't really like my shadow, but although I'll admit, maybe with uh, IV bag, this is actually pretty good for us. In a way, I'm kind of like, why wouldn't we? Because everything is free <laughs> forever. We probably want Pandora's box as well. Well, we definitely want the HP. Yeah, this seems like it could be pretty sweet. Uh, let's take the HP first. It just keeps giving us more stuff that I want here. Cambian Conception is freaking me out. Like, I, I don't really understand what's going on here. I, I could spend the next couple of years of my life in this room, I think. Okay, let's get Pandora's box. We're on the caves. We're on the depths. Four spirit hearts? Oh, it gave us latch key. Okay. Um, I will take a guppy item. We took chaos already, so I think we might just be able to become guppy in this room. If that were the case, I probably should have taken... Oh, another luck upgrade, too. Probably should have taken guppy's... Uh tail when it showed up. I think I'm literally just gonna stand here until I get every item that I that I deem appropriate uh, for us to win. Also getting extra familiars, I hope they stick around for the whole floor. I doubt they will, but what in the world is that? That's like Maw of the Void, the item we just unlocked, isn't it? Fresh in the mind because I just literally picked it, or I literally finished that run like mere moments ago. There, that's what we're looking for. Dimes and you took my freaking red heart. Fucked up my value proposition. Consume thine enemy. Okay. We don't want teleport. This is our first reroll in forever here. Uh, cube of meat? Why not, man? At this point, why would we say no to cube of meat? Although we should get HP first. And there we go. We've, we've now gotten the value proposition properly here. Although we could, you know, bleed out this uh, spirit heart so we can take this spirit heart. Uh, I don't think we really want Brother Bobby that much. We don't really want the HP that much. We don't really want Red Candle. Speed could be okay. We need to keep two cents just so we can buy this and keep the dream alive. I hope this is as riveting for you as it is for me. I'm actually I'm quite fond of it right now. We do want damage. Every time that shows up, we're gonna take it. We can do one more and then pick up this. And then do it all over again. We got a nickel out of that one. That, that pays for a lot of time. Uh, do this again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Uh, we don't really like these. So do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, yeah. We definitely want ceremonial robes. Oh, there we go. Starting to get the engine firing again. Slowly but surely. We're picking up more red hearts. The red hearts are an engine, man. Ceremonial robes gives us more damage. Do we want Bomberman bombs? Yeah, man. Because we got sand bombs. Of course we want the Bomberman bombs. I know that this might be incredibly boring to watch, but it's also the first time I've broken greed mode. So to speak. So uh, I'm, I'm not going to take no for an answer to start with here. We're going to try to build a run that, that we can be proud of. Thanks to the bandage and uh, IV bag. Mom's contact is like super playable. You know, okay, tell you what. At 20 minutes, we'll leave this room. 
Unless there's something truly compelling to keep me here, we'll leave it 20 minutes. Otherwise, I'll never leave. So, um, we'll take Mom's contact, and we'll put ourselves on a timer. We don't really want Thunder Thighs. So, we'll re-roll. Re-roll again. Tammy's head. No, we don't want it. We want Guppy's paw, though, because now we're only one item away from becoming the Gupster. Huge pickup there. Okay, take Guppy's paw. Could put ourselves on permanent Polaroid invincibility. I don't really want to do that. Extra red heart is incredible amounts of fuel for us here. We're in 1937, so we're getting pretty close. Let's re-roll. Book of Belial, charm shots. Not that interested. I just bled a black heart for that and then lost the red heart that I earned. Let's re-roll. Uh, don't love it. But seven cents for the amount of HP might be worthwhile. Okay, well, I know we're at 20 minutes. I'm gonna give myself one more reroll. That's the reason you give yourself these limits. It's not to give yourself a hard limit, but instead like a, a tolerance level to get in and around. I'm not taking the D100. Um, we've, we've done so many D100 runs. When I mentioned earlier that we were just waiting for the D100 to show up, I was mostly joking. Especially now that they've actually forced me into this position. <laughs> Uh, don't give a shit about Book of Revelations. Don't give a shit about HP, really. We will take the Pact. That's an obvious one. Okay, you know what? 21 minutes is where we leave this room now. Just because we've been getting good items lately. I know this is like a, oh, daddy, you got a problem type situation, but... You know, ev this is not gambling, because every single one of these, uh, plays that we do is, like, e extremely benefiting us. Alright, we're at 21 minutes. Let's reroll this shit. Uh, the mind is worthless for us. It might be better off to take, um, butt bombs. And you know what? We should take cluster bombs as well, and that's my, that's my limit right there. Cluster bomb is going to be the last item. Yeah, no, attack fly is not good enough for us. So I'm just going to use, like, one guppy's paw. Two guppy's paw. That's, like, a really bad trade, but I was like, this gives us some survivability. Um, now let's leave. And now we'll get ready for our deal with the angel. I want to put a sad bomb down. That's pretty much what I was hoping for. It's kind of still going there. Um, we will take the range upgrade. What a fantastic upgrade. Any any man would be happy to have it. Uh, there's another spirit heart we can't take. And we'll just head down to the... Well, let's go to our curse room. If that was a guppy item, I would have laughed pretty hard. All right, let's head downwards. So far, so good. I think this is uh, like an incredibly strong run. Now we can start just stacking up enough money to hold for the rest of our lives. The nail, huh? I mean, we'll just use that for no reason, but uh, mostly I was happy to get the half red hearts there, if I'm being honest. Remember, we can stack up unlimited money almost, as long as we have a shop nearby, so... Um, we can... we can... we can swing this. We can't reroll anything here, so we might just want to take it if we like it, but let's go inside of our curse room first. Two red chests gives us a spider or something. Nothing serious. Okay, throw a bomb down and hide. We can kill three waves per bomb. Are we guppy already? We seem to be summoning, like, a lot of flies. Alright, so there's the first several waves done. Let's do this again. That's been handled. <laughs> Oh, all of the familiars from KMB and Conception, or several of them at least, have, they seem to have stuck with us. Uh, what is this? Is that KMB and Conception as well? Now I'm just confused, man. I'm very sorry about this war. You just have no chance. Alright, well, there's a golden heart. When we get hit, it drops money. Oh, I, I hit myself with a bomb there. Uh, let's pick up all of our money. That was an extremely fast floor. We've got every, you know, transformation in the book here. 30 cents. It gave us a ton of money when we got hit, so I'm stoked about that. Um, I think we should just buy red hearts until we're at full HP. I know that sounds ridiculous because we could just do it. We could just get to full HP. But I like this because now I feel like we've got a buffer in the future. Do we really care about scapular? I don't really give a shit, honestly. So I think, uh, I think we'll just go. I think we have enough bombs to coast on, to be to be real with you. And I'd rather just save our money to buy stuff that we actually really want, or just save it to donate to the greed machine if we don't want it. 
Are we Guppy? <laughs> I don't know if we're Guppy. Oh, we gotta take 99 bombs. I'm very sorry, nine lives. In any other world, that would have been an easy choice, but uh, I gotta take 99 bombs here. No, we don't want Liberty Cap. We want, we don't want Purple Heart. One makes you larger, by the way. I guess we'll take Strength. Uh, 99 bombs because our bombs are so strong. Tammy's head might be hilarious too. I'll give you that, but well, we can like double the value out of this now, which is just, you know, we were already beating the Christ out of the game to be able to do it again. But, like, twice as fast is just kind of hilarious at this point. And every single one of these that gives us a luck upgrade just, you know, reinforces how ridiculous this run is right now. We'll admit, it didn't really pay out that much, though, did it? There's our red heart. I don't know what happened. Oh, there's Dark Bomb. He's hanging out. He's like, hey, fuckboy, I heard you got a red heart you didn't tell me about. You used to play with the IV bag. Late now when you need some blood. Anyway, here we go. Remote detonator? I mean, that would be silly, but we gotta stick with IV bag for the hilarity of it right now. Um, why not, you know? Range plus luck up. At this point, I'm like, these these items are cheap. If they do anything for us, I'm taking them. That one maybe was a bad call. Uh, Dad's key, I don't think it do anything for us. But again, we could just re-roll until we get, like, HP anyway, right? So what do we care? We'll take Pentagram. We'll take, uh, absolutely, we'll take Cricket's Head. And we'll take HP. This is where we start, like, rebuilding it here. D20 is supposedly, like, an awesome pickup for us here as well. But look, I mean, look, look at this shit that we're getting every single room. I just picked up Mom's key by accident. Ask me how bummed out I am about that. Answer, zero bummed out. Look at that, and we're already back to, well, not a ton of money, but a decent amount, if we're being realistic here. Maybe we should fight some enemies temporarily? I think that would be not a bad idea. Just hide in the corner for a sec. Okay, again, this is where I'll warn you. If you are uh, if you have photosensitivity, be afraid. Because there's like a lot of, there's a lot of stuff happening on the screen right now. What? Where did that enemy even come from? What, all the enemies are dead? I can't see! Oh good, a fool card. Uh, it's, yeah, let's try to get the, uh, the drama ramped up with this music here. I was wondering if I was gonna have a chance to survive. I was a little scared, honestly. We got hit some- it must have been an enemy teleported on top of us. Life goes on. So we'll fight our angel statue for the 23rd time, and by fight, I mean we'll place a bomb down right next to it. It is dead, as you might have expected. There's a strength card. Uh, fantastic. Might as well use our strength card in here. It might give us a little uh, kickstart. There goes our golden penny as well. And we got the blood bag, which we'll absolutely take. We're gonna go pretty hard on this. Any red heart that drops, we need to pick up, because that's where we make a, you know, kind of the brunt of our extra money here. We're not even on the last floor of the game. Like, this has been one of the longest, um... Greed mode runs I've ever done, but I mean, I'm, I'm doing it this way for what I assume is quite an obvious reason. We get the greatest score in human history. We haven't even been to our curse room yet. Let's go check that out. Got a black heart out of it. That's not insignificant. Okay, we'll go down to the shop. Uh, I'm pretty sure this might be a strange situation where one bomb kills Greed. I don't necessarily know that. But Greed Mode, you know, a historically tanky boss. I think we might have a chance at it. Just wanted to get a little extra value out of that. Go get our bombs. Again, Remote Detonator is not something I'm too interested in. Got another opportunity for this madness here. Let's just get ourselves to 99 cents. First, we'll see, like, are there any items we really want here? We don't need HP that badly. Never seen this, so we'll take it. Circle of Protection. All right. We also just picked up Breakfast by... Did we breakfast the game? thought we breakfasted the game for a second. Stigmata. We don't need um, Ouija Board. Uh, we might as well take Hot Bombs, even though we kind of already have them. We don't need the ability to fly. We already have that through a transformation. 
Let's go a little... Oh, you know, I should have taken Piggy Bank there. I think this is where we call it quits. And we just say, you know what? Let's go hard on the, on the whole money situation. Where do we get that Eternal Heart from? I don't really care. I just turned it into not an Eternal Heart. We just want as much money as possible so that when we beat Greed, we can donate. Maybe see what's going on with our score. Uh, I guess we're going to take that. Then we're probably just going to go super hard on this. If we see a red heart, we got to pop into that right away. We got no bum friend taking our money, right? 64. I mean, we could just do this after the Isaac fight as well. but I'd rather do it now so we know. And every time we get two cents from our first pickup, that means whatever we pick up from the rest is just money in the bank. You know, it's a good investment for us. Anytime we pick up one cent, that could set us back, but it's only going to set us back a little bit. Oh, that's mine. And that might be 99 right there if we get very lucky. And it looks like we did. There's 99 cents. All right. We don't need our HP for anything. Throw down a bomb. Hide forever. We did get hit there. I was like, that enemy is afraid, but somehow alive. You know what? Hot Bombs has actually been awesome. Because it does, uh, it still works. I'm not sure if you, oh, okay. I hit myself probably with Bomberman there. But Hot Bombs definitely still works because it keeps the fires on the ground for longer. Which is really bad for the enemies that we're going up against. We continue to be hit probably by Cluster Bombs that time. Or maybe just an enemy I can't really see. Alright. Slightly confusing. Just get in the corner and hide, man. The bombs still hunt me down! We're safe. We're safe. Okay. Deal with the angel again, I assume. Uh, sure. Friend zone. Friendly fly. Did we get any, any spirit hearts? I kind of can't tell. Um... There's a lot of money in there, so why don't we just pick up as many red hearts as we can. If we end up donating freaking 92 cents, what do I care, right? But we're still going to have 99. Alright, so let's go fight the Greedmeister here and see how this works. Uh, this has been the most exciting, or at least, maybe not exciting, but ridiculous Greed Mode run I've ever had. I'm going to play it straight, you know, I'm going to throw a bomb down and kill Greed instantly. And then if... Uh, if Ultra Greed wants to have super tanky HP as a result of that, that's Ultra Greed's prerogative, man. I'm not going to say I'm not super confused about everything that's happening right now, because I am. We're actually, like, it's by far the most damage I've ever done. But we're still not doing that much damage against Greed, so I'm like, you know what, why am I even using Sad Bombs here? And then I'm looking at it, and I'm like, you know why I'm using sad bombs? Because they're the only thing that does any damage now. Nothing else actually hurts this guy. There's got to be some kind of HP calibration. Although some, somehow we've done an awful lot of damage to him right there as well. I don't know what, what causes him to take different damage at different times, but it is what it is. He should be dead. This is a great opportunity for us to donate. Lusty Blood is what I just unlocked. So what are we trying to get to? Like 109, the Greed Machine stops? Getting close. It blew up. I guess that's it. Thank you. Uh, well, thanks for watching this episode. This was a wild one. There's Lusty Blood. For now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.